it's really important for us as e-commerce entrepreneurs to make sure that we're living in that perfect balance of delivering on time and cost efficiency. Today's video is an updated shipping tutorial. And this video is not limited only to Etsy sellers, but anybody who wants to run an online store or make money online through e-commerce, basically. So, hey there, entrepreneurs. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Samantha and on this channel, we talk about all things entrepreneurship, personal development, personal finance, making money online, saving your money, managing your money, multiplying your money, all the things, money, 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 money. So if this is something that interests you, then definitely you need to be subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome future videos. So today's video is an updated shipping tutorial. A couple of years ago, maybe a year ago, so I did a shipping tutorial when I was running you through the steps of how to ship products for your online or e-commerce store and I was talking a lot more about Etsy in that particular video but this video is not limited only to Etsy sellers but anybody who wants to run an online store or make money online through e-commerce basically so this has been one of those questions that I keep getting in my inbox and in the comment section about shipping. So even after that shipping tutorial, I still keep getting some questions. So I'm going to be addressing those questions in this updated shipping tutorial. So instead of me just running you through the steps, I'm actually going to be showing you through the steps and also helping you know how to calculate your shipping prices more accurately, even before you go to your shipping agent and all of that. So I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of shipping 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 so let's get started so if you remember in the first shipping tutorial we said step number one you actually need to know your product what is your product so this is going to determine the kind of packaging that you use and how much your shipping will cost you and eventually cost the customer. But we also talked about free shipping in a separate video. I will have to leave that one linked in the cards, in the description box and at the end screen. So you guys can catch up with that because it's really important that your customers feel like they're not paying anything extra or that the, the poor price that they're seeing on your store is the final price. I have learned and I made a lot more in sales revenue and in sales volume because I offer free shipping. So that video is a valuable tool I would recommend everybody watching this and see how I kind of play with my numbers to offer free shipping to the customer or to lower the shipping rates for those of you who actually want to have a shipping cost to your site. I'm an Etsy seller. I've been selling on Etsy for three years now and what I specialize in are African accessories such as this little clutch bag. I designed this. I actually bought the fabric. I I have a collection of these, bought the fabric from like three, three countries in Zambia, Ghana, where else? I work with artists like this guy here. This is a Zimbabwean guy who hand paints batik. So this is like a batik table runner. These are the things that you guys are going to be helping me package as well as this table placemat set. This set is the animal, the African Big Five animals. This is actually all on one order. So you guys are going to be helping me package it and I'll be walking you through the whole shipping process as well as sharing with you some tips and tricks on how you can package your stuff to make sure that your package arrives to the customer neatly, nicely and also cost efficiently to yourself as well as the customer. So the next step in the shipping process is actually packaging your product. It's important that you weigh it after you've packaged it because every single box that you use or any flyer that you're going to be giving to your customer, any promotional material that was going to go in there will add to the weight. Every single gram adds up. So I will package this and for this particular bag, I'm going to stuff it in with some paper, but not card. Like try and take the lightest possible paper that you can get. I would really like to use bubble wrap, but I don't have any at the moment. I didn't buy any. So I'm just going to use this paper. The reason I would much prefer bubble wrap is that it tends to be lighter than paper. And because we're talking about money and maximizing our profits and just being efficient business people, we have to watch every single coin. You have to watch every single cent. Now, there's a saying that goes, watch the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves. This is really one of those points and places where it matters most. So you don't want to add extra or unnecessary weight to your package. But for this case, it's important that I package it 
and make sure that the bag is firm. I don't want the bag to be shapeless or formless when it reaches the customer. So I quite like the packaging process because it allows me to do a quality check and a quality control of my product and just make sure that everything is right and as it should be before I send it out to anyone. The last thing that you need as an e-commerce salesperson is a negative review. So uh, part of what I do is I just make sure that the, the threads are all cut out and that everything is neat. If uh, there are any extra threads, I just use this uh, sticky roller pin and just remove everything there. So it allows me to have a moment with the product before I send it out. So this is probably one of the parts of my whole process that I enjoy the most apart from of course like designing and sourcing my material and just well everything is really interesting to me but I would hate to have a negative review from anyone so this part I feel is going to be the hardest part for me to let go when I decide to grow my side hustle into something more serious I would need to trust someone and this is really that part where I feel like I may have trust issues, like where it comes to quality control. I'm so passionate about that. So just gonna make sure that everything is done nicely. And I'm gonna put this in this non-woven bag. This, as is, will suffice. Throw it in a bubble pack or one of these envelopes from the courier. But I personally want my customer to have that gift unwrapping experience. So, I am going to box it in this box that you don't have to go through the extent or to the whole expense of packaging your stuff like gift wrapping, but I'm running a store that's growing towards being like a gift store. So I like to make sure that my stuff is nicely gift wrapped. So at the end of the day, the customer is really, really happy. Even though they've paid for it, they really feel like they're getting a special gift. So I buy these boxes in bulk and you can get them branded and stuff, but I'm not gonna do that because that's gonna be an extra expense. So this is how the bag is packaged. You'll see my little handmade with love. Thank you, sticker. This makes for a full gift unwrapping experience so if this is a gift for someone when they receive it they're going to be more than glad to have it gift wrapped already and if it's for the person who's bought it guess what they're still gonna like it i buy this whole pack of little plastic sleeves which i will individually wrap my product into they didn't buy the bag maybe they haven't seen the bag and i'm really trying to promote and to push the bag so i'll just pop that in there so that they'll see it when they receive the package 1.5 so this all together is coming to about 1.5 kilos and when i started thinking about making this video for you guys i went to fedex and i got this whole heap of boxes right now they're flat but they will like open them up and actually make a box which you can send your items in so with this large box i think i could fit oh this is even too big this is too big for my package that has three items and this is the large box i would not use this the thing is if i use this box they're going to charge me by the dimension that i i mentioned in the previous video that courier companies use a volumetric standard for calculating the shipping so this box has like a stipulated weight that sh it should carry so if i use this box they're either going to charge me for the size of the box or the weight that the box is carrying the trick is they will charge me whatever is higher so if the box size is big they will charge me for the size of the box rather than the weight. So if I put 500 grams into this, they're gonna charge me for the box because the box is occupying a larger space in the cargo, whatever it is, however it is that they send um, their stuff. So they have different box sizes. And I think this is like a, a medium, medium size box, which I actually could try and use to fit everything inside. But if I did again, use the box, I have to do my calculation and see, will it be cheaper for me to use the box 
or to just put this in a sleeve together and just set it off as how much did I say one and a half kilos so this box I'm going to show you guys how the courier companies actually if the stuff fits in here I'm going to show you guys how they calculate the weight that should be carried within this box so whatever is higher as opposed to how much weight the box actually has I hope that makes sense you know it will make sense maybe take a pen and paper and I will show you and let me show it to you right away you see this box it has these numbers these are the dimensions of the box what we're going to do is we just take the calculator and calculate that to say 32 centimeters times 23.5 times 16.5 that's equal to 12,408 and then you divide this by 5,000 don't ask me why 5,000 but that's what the guy told me and this gives me 2.4 Eight. so that's 2.48 kilograms two and a half kilos so if I were to use this box <laughs> I hope you guys got it the dimensions of this box are 32 centimeters by 23 and a half centimeters times 16 and a half centimeters so basically it's cheaper for me to package these three items weighing one and a half kilo into a large plastic sleeve then it is for me to use this small box. They're gonna charge me two and a half kilos. So it's in my best interest to use the sleeve. As for me personally, once I've got the weight of each of these items, I can go onto the booking portal and book a shipment to, to go. So if you don't have access to the booking portal for your packages and stuff, to enter in your dimensions and sizes and actually get uh, a shipment slip you would then just take your items which I will do take my items to FedEx or DHL wherever I'm going to be using and this is one of the things that I mentioned in the previous shipping video is that you need to have your preferred shipping agents and don't just have one have multiple because there's certain times that DHL actually ships out faster and delivers faster than FedEx and they may be cheaper sometimes or a bit more expensive and there are sometimes to different destinations where FedEx turns out to be a bit more expensive even though they're going to deliver a little bit sooner than DHL might so you need to be able to compare these terms and see what is most suitable for you and as, as I mentioned before and I'm going to mention it again it's very it's so important for you to have a balance the perfect balance between delivering on time to your customers as well as your delivery cost both are really important to you as a business owner as well as your customer because the customer doesn't really want to wait too long and they don't want to pay too much more than they need to to get the product because we are living in a competitive world i really hope that this video has been useful to you and that you find it helpful again if it's not or if there's other things that you want me to clarify please let me know in the comment section below but if you've liked the video let me know by giving it a thumbs up i always look forward to hearing from you chatting with you catch me on instagram i'm also on instagram at i samantha Lika. so look forward to seeing you in the next video so be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you on the next one